feel like the offense line did that as a whole uh, last Saturday? Overall, I think we did a pretty solid job for it being the first game of the year. Of course, we got some new guys in. I mean, it takes some adjusting. Of course, first ever start, it's going to be a little different. But I think once they start getting a feel for it, they really uh, started meshing together, really executing. What stood out about those guys, Prince and Mike, getting those first starts? What stood out to you about them once you got to watch the film and all that? Uh, I mean, there's always there's positives and negatives. You just got to look back. I mean, they've come a long ways. I mean, First start, nothing's going to be perfect, but they did a lot of good things, so it's a good thing to build off of. How much are you looking for this game? I mean, it's a very big game. I mean, top teams going against each other. It's one of the best defense fronts we'll go against all year. It's just a big game, and of course we want to win that game. I mean, we want to win every game, so... Every game's a big game, but, yeah. What, is, uh, what stands out about their defensive line? I mean, you just go back. I mean, every year they've always been stacked. I mean, they're stacked this year. I mean, they're physical, they're athletic. They got a lot of great players there. I mean, they won a national championship last year and part of their defensive line. What happened in that game last year? Is there an extra sense of you guys want to come out and kind of show that I mean, we just want to win the game, period. What's like going on the road? And I know you guys have played some hostile environment before, but this should be a new one for you. How do you kind of simulate that in practice? And is it something you're kind of excited about? Uh, it's definitely a challenge. It'll be our first away game of the year. I mean, the way you simulate just having noisy surroundings, I mean, blazing speakers during practice, just working on communication. I mean, just stuff like that. Have you heard anything about the environment there, Clemson? Have they might told you or, you know, just read stuff? I mean, you can already anticipate it's a big game. They're going to be rocking, of course. How much of an impact does it have having that? Just a like he is and just work worse? I mean, just if we execute, it doesn't really matter who we have back there. I mean, we got lots of great players. So, I mean, if offensive line executes, then anybody should be able to roll back there. Right on the uh, carry-ons, long touchdown run. Talk about your play out there in the corner. I guess it's kind of fun for to get a shot out through the open space like that. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, getting a touchdown block, it's always a great thing. I mean, obviously just want to put points on board. Cam yeah, Martin had a, had a really good game. I don't know how you just said if the offensive line doesn't shock, it really doesn't matter who's back there. Is that satisfying for you guys when the guy who's number three on the depth chart can come in and have a game like that? Definitely just being able to come in off the bench. I mean, come, kind of coming in cold and just being able to keep the level of play the same the way it's been, just like we said. I mean, keep it rolling for them. Overall, I think the offense played for a first game. I think it's a good starting point, but of course we definitely got a lot to work on, as it, is. it usually is at the beginning of the year. You're never going to start all the way up here. You got to work your way from here and keep building little by little each game. You think Jared got a little more comfortable since he came in? Uh, definitely he got more comfortable. I mean, if I hadn't played football in two years, of course there's going to be a little bit of rust to shake out, but I mean, he, I mean after he kind of got some series under belt, he really started sparking, definitely. You mentioned Clemson's defensive line. One particular stands out about Dexter Lawrence, their defensive tackle. What, what's the question again? Uh, you, you, you mentioned the talent of Clemson's defensive line. What in particular stands out, stands out about their defensive tackle, Dexter Lawrence? I mean, he's a big guy, athletic, strong, stuff like that. Are you still getting any reps at tackle, or is it really just a guard? I mean, got to be able to be ready to play any position, so every now and then I'll get some reps at tackle. It's a contingency plan, so someone goes down and I got to go tackle, I got to be ready to play that spot. What did it mean for you for the tackle position sort of to get sorted out before the season so that you could stick in that right guard spot that you're so used to? Just like I said, basically, you just got to be able to play any spot on the line. But, uh, maybe I was reading it wrong when I was <clears> watching the game, but it looked like slide protection went on a couple times. Is that something new, or was I seeing that, seeing that wrong? Slide protection, how so? There's a slide side and a bob side. Well, like, just for Stidham to be able to get to a certain spot.
slot? Was it was the protection sliding to help as far as that goes, or I just I just haven't noticed that in the last couple of years. Uh, not really sure how to answer that question. Okay, that's why I said I might, I might be reading it wrong, but it looked like it was different with slide protection as opposed to uh, the last couple of years. So, okay.